open Krita and create new file. As you can see, you have many templates that you can choose from. Next, set up image size. Please match image size to YouTube video dimensions. Click Create button. To open Animation Workspace, go to Windows, Workspace and click Animation. Now you have access to Layers, Animation Docker, where you can playback your animation, change playback range, speed, frame rate. You also have buttons for adding, capping and removing frames, as well as Onion Skin Docker, frames options. On the bottom, you can see animation layers. Last layer is a background layer. It's locked and should not be used. Just above, you can see two icons. First icon lets you add new layer, remove and more. Second icon is used for importing sounds to Krita. For this exercise, you need to animate bouncing ball. Please use video reference. Create your own reference with proper timing and arches that are matching type of the ball that you plan to animate. Open your reference, copy and paste it to your new file. Rescale and lock layer. Remove any empty layers. You can draw ball in Krita or import one from other programs. Please make sure you save it as PNG with transparent background. Scale ball as needed and move it to proper position. You can close your reference files and save your bouncing ball animation file to your exercise folder. Please save file from time to time as you're working on your animation. Before you start animation process, please check if you have transformation tool selected. Next, select first keyframe in the ball layer and click duplicate button. Select empty layer and move ball in the scene. As you do this, new keyframe is created. To see better changing position of the ball in your scene, turn on onion skin. Small light bulb icon in your layer. You can adjust onion skin visibility by accessing onion skin option under settings, dockers, onion skin. Boxes on both sides allow you to control opacity and visibility of all onion skins. Keep animating your ball by moving in the scene. Get your timing and position right first before you add squash and stretch. Use zoom handle to zoom in and out of the frame table by clicking and dragging to the right or left. Before exporting animation, you need to set beginning and end of your animation. You can access those options by right-clicking on the top of selected keyframe. You can hide your references and add a bit rotation to your ball before you export it. To render animation, you need to go to File and click on Render Animation option. By default, Krita can export your animation as image sequence that you need to import to Premiere or similar program to render final video. Krita has option to export your animation as video in MP4 format, but you need to download extra plugin to your computer. Please go to provided link. Please check your computer operating system and download proper version to your computer. Unzip it to desired location. You need FFMPGDX files only to export your animation. In the render animation option, click folder icon. Navigate to folder where you saved your plugin and select it. Next, pick location where you want your video to be rendered to. Click OK button to render, wait a bit and check your rendered video file. If needed, go back to your Krita animation, fix your animation and render again. To delete keyframe, you need to select it first, right click over and choose remove option. To delete several keyframes at the same time, you need to select shift them first and then right click and select remove option again. Thank you.